Hi, I'm the Pink Moon Tarotist and I'm here to do your December reading for Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising, Venus. Cross watchers are welcome. Just cleansing the space and then we will get into the reading. When I do my readings, I point the camera down at the table so that you can see the cards and not me. So there we go. Right, I am using the Lightseer's Tarot. This is my tarot deck of choice, unless I get called to do something different. I usually go with this one or the Rider weight. But I like this one. It's got a good energy to it. She says, and I can't shuffle it. We'll try that again. Okay, so this is for Libra. Sun, Moon and Rising, Venus, for the month of December 2020. So what do we need to know for my lovely Libras? While I'm shuffling the deck and preparing it, if you want to like, share and subscribe to the channel, that would be very much appreciated. I'm still very new to YouTube and Every subscription helps. If you hit the wiggly bell, you'll be notified each time I upload new videos. I do do daily tarot readings um, and uh, the odd sort of love readings and what have you. So um, it's always worth hitting that bell so that you know when I am uploading something new. I will link all the videos for each of the star signs, sun signs, moon signs, what have you, in the comment box below. So that if you are on the cusp or you have, you know your moon or rising or Venus signs, you can watch those videos if this one doesn't resonate with you. And like I say, cross watchers are welcome as well. So without further ado, what do Libras need to know? Interesting. I've got two fours. We've got the Queen and the King of Cups both in reverse. What else do my lovely Libras need to know for the month of December 2020? And we have the King of Pentacles. So we have two king, kings, one in the upright, one in the reverse. So let's have a little look and see. Your overall energy for this reading is the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands needing to protect yourself, put that, um, put that fence up around yourself, holding the big stick there. Um, Yeah, some of you may be feeling a little bit defensive. Huh, interesting, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles here. The Queen of Pentacles underneath the Nine of Wands there, but she is in the reverse. So, without further ado, let's have a little look-see what, what we can see. This card of defense is not just about defense, it's also about determination. So some of you might be feeling very defiant and determined right now. Um, there may be a need for something to be um, finally pushed through and you're digging deep to find that energy to finally make that push. I'm just gonna remove the hat because it's making me very hot. <laughs> Okay, and then we start off with the Five of Swords. Now, the Five of Swords is a card of um, regret. Uh, 
it is a card of um fives are usually something to do with loss and regret and um yeah as you can see here he's holding his head he's not very happy um there may have been some conflict that you've been um been going through something that has knocked your confidence a little bit um or you may have had a, a victory but it felt like a bit of a hollow victory like it wasn't really a victory at all um so there's a lesson to be learned here and that lesson is going to be very personal to you um but uh but if there is a uh, a lesson that needs to be learned then you know have a think about what that could be then we have the ace of swords in the reverse now the ace of swords when she's in the upright it's new ideas clarity of vision you know it's like up the crown chakra a whoosh something coming in um but when it's in the reverse it can mean that you're over analyzing something you're over analyzing a situation you're over analyzing a relationship whatever it is that you are over analyzing something right now could be um clouding your judgment with that ace of swords in the reverse there um it's interesting that the first three out are swords swords are air energy and you libra are an air sign so you know this is very relevant to you i'm not surprised to see swords in your reading but um we go on to the nine of swords this Nine of Swords is a, um, a card of loss and worry and, you know, um, stress, nightmares occurring. Um, but it's telling you that you need to find the courage and focus um, on the things that are going well in your life. We can... It's very easy, especially at the time, the, the climate that we're in right now with varying dis, um, varying stages of lockdown around the world. You know, we're coming up to the holiday season where families want to get together. And in some parts of the world, that's not that's not possible. We're not able to get together with our families. It can cause a lot of stress and emotions can be running very high. Um, this card, <clears throat> sorry. This card is, you know, um, showing me that there is something that is burdening you at the moment. Um, and it's really making you doubt yourself. And possibly, you know, some of you may be experiencing nightmares or unable to sleep. Um, you see she has the pillow down here. This is, uh, you know, it's like she's woken from a nightmare and this is the nightmare up above but if you look right in the top there there is light above okay um it's not all doom and gloom but it is like in the traditional rider weight pack the nine of swords are all sort of dangling above the head of the individual in the picture and it's like you're waiting to know where those swords are going to land. You know, what what is going to happen? It's almost feeling like you're in suspension a little bit. Um, as then we move on to the four of swords. <laughs> Another sword for you. Um, there's a lot. This is telling me that you're in your head a lot, Libra. Okay. When you get swords, this is, swords are to do with knowledge and um, thoughts and, you know, sort of your head ruling your heart somewhat. Now, the four of swords, when she's in the upright, she is reminding you that you need to take a rest. OK, um, that you are you're in a time of healing. When she's in the reverse like this it's even more prudent for you to take heed of this card. Some of you are facing um, facing burnout right now. If you do not take a rest, if you do not take a break um, and spend time 
recovering and recouping that lost energy and that spent energy, then, then you, you stand to get to the stage of burnout and, um, you know, you need to dedicate some time to yourself, to self-care. Self-care is of paramount importance to you during the month of December, especially for those of you that have gone through or are going through a difficult period right now. Is then we also move on to the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups, when he's in the upright, he is the King of um, the King of Feelings. He's the King of um, you know uh, love and abundance, and he's a very caring and kind and considerate King. Um, when he's in the reverse, you're getting the shadow side of him, which can be some of you might be being a, a little bit of a drama king right now <laughs> um but it's more an indication that you are perhaps some of you are feeling a little withdrawn and like you don't want to be in touch with your emotions because it's scary and it's um it's difficult to work through those things and whatever this is that is causing you this this pain and this loss feeling and this regret and um you know blocking your blocking your thoughts from from coming through in a positive way whatever this is um is triggering you right now and making you feel like you need to withdraw, like it's easier to withdraw from that situation and not feel it than it is to face it head on. However, then we move on to the Eight of Pentacles. Now, the Eight of Pentacles, Pentacles are your Earth sign. Um, they are the keep on keeping on sign, you know, and the Eight of Pentacles in particular is to do with keep working at it you know now this to me because of all that has gone on before I don't think this is to do with work per se I think this is you working on yourself you need to be working through whatever emotions you're feeling right now whatever the situation is that is causing you distress it's going to take some working through that's what I'm getting from this eight of pentacles here um you know, it, it is the sign, I think in the traditional rider weight, you've got somebody with a chisel um, sort of hammering away there with working at the uh, um, uh, task in hand, you know. And with this one, interestingly enough, she's she looks a little bit more like an alchemist. She's holding a, um, a candle. She's got all these sort of apoc there apothecary things in the background there she's got the um the books of knowledge she's got plants you know she, it's like she's mixing something together and she's sort of studying how how to put it all together to make it work and this I think is really prudent at the moment for you but this is working on you okay I have no doubt in my mind whatsoever that some of you it is about working on how you are feeling and facing those fears and facing up to um, what's going on around you. Um, and then we get the Four of Cups. Now, the Four of Cups, look how fed up she looks. <laughs> this is a, um, a card of missed opportunities. Some of you may, that regret may be to do with feeling like you've missed an opportunity. You see how here she's looking at these three empty cups, feeling very fed up, but there's a full rainbow filled cup behind her and she's not even looking at it. Um, it could be that some of you are a bit frustrated and a bit bored um, in your situation at the moment. But this is reminding you, appreciate what you have and stop looking for what you don't have. You know, again, some of you being a bit of a drama king about this situation and 
you know, this is just reminding you, don't, don't be a brat, you know, just be, <laughs> just be grateful for what you have. Um, and then we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Now the Queen of Cups, again, when she's in the upright, she is the Queen of Feels. She is the Queen that, oh, sorry, I forgot to forget. Um, she is the Queen, you know, she's the, the, the Queen that is intuitive and highly connected to her spiritual side. Again, water sign, um, water energy are all about feelings. She's got strength, empathy. She is the heart chakra. She is, you know, she's she's a lovely queen. When she's in the reverse, again, this is something telling me that you are, some of you are suppressing your emotions right now. Um, and you need to listen more to those around you. You need to listen more to yourself as well. You need to be listening to what your your heart's desire is telling you. Um, and again, some of you may be acting like a bit of a drama queen, a bit of a drama king. And, you know, remember the, uh, remember not to be so melodramatic and remember that emotional blackmail, whether you're receiving it or whether you're giving it is never a good thing. Um, so if somebody, if this is someone in your life rather than you, if someone is behaving this way in your life, then they need to be pulled into lying a little bit. But if this is you that is, you know, having a bit of a pout about this situation and um, and what have you, then just remember you are responsible for your own emotions. You make your luck and your life and you need to pull it together and recognise what you have work on yourself okay because then we end with the king of pentacles now the king of pentacles he's he is the how do i put this he's the most stable king shall we say in the entire pack um he is the the king of abundance overflowing. I mean, look at his face here. He's just sat there. He's got his big old coin in his lap. He's got his wolf by his side. He sat back and he's just going, I've got it all. I'm happy. Um, he can provide for others. He's, um, you know, he's, he's all about personal growth and reaching your goals and success, achievement, attainment, and and abundance, which I think I said already, but anyway, this is where you can get to. If you can work on yourself, you know, work on yourself, realize what you have, try not to be too much of a drama queen or king about the situation. Um, recognize the signs of burnout as well. You know, it's time to, to take it easy and work on you. And all, all of this that is causing you to feel, um, to feel regret, to feel worthless, to feel like you don't deserve in some way, all of that is, is something that's inside you. This is not something that somebody else can fix for you. You need to be working on you. You need to think, get a clear idea of what it is that you want. What will help you feel like this King of Pentacles here? Okay. Um, because at the moment, you're quite closed, Libra. Some of you are quite closed off and... And um, you've kind of withdrawn from a lot of the situations that are around you. And some of them just need to be faced. But they need to be faced with love and care, you know, um, get out of your head a little bit. There it is going to take a bit of a push, you know, it is going to take a little bit of effort, you know, working on it. Um, 
but you will get there and what a lovely way to finish with the king of pentacles you know this this achievement and abundance and satisfaction and personal growth all all this positivity that comes with this king of pentacles at the end of the reading here it's a beautiful way for it to all come together at the end but there is some work to do um there's some work on your on your own personal growth and letting go that's the other thing the message of this let go of situations that are in the past cut those ties interestingly enough you don't have any swords uh, you don't have any swords you have lots of swords which is you know swords are used for cutting the ties so you know use those swords cut those ties cut those bonds okay and some of you are being encouraged to volunteer this could be about you recognizing what you have oftentimes when we are um so caught up in our own lives and so caught up in the oh this went wrong that went wrong i didn't get this i don't have that i you know it's lack 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 and sometimes we need a little bit of a wake up call libra um sometimes Going out and volunteering, you know, maybe working in a soup kitchen or um, taking some clothes to the homeless or whatever it is, you know, or just volunteering to help a neighbour with their shopping. Um, you know, sometimes when we when we look, when we stop looking at our own lives in such a um, such a way that we are just seeing all the negatives. And we start to look at what other people have and don't have, more don't have, um, and what other people are struggling with, what other people are going through. Sometimes it can be very humbling. And volunteering can really give you that sense of perspective um, about how much you do have in your own life. When you see what some people don't have, and yet they can still smile they can still laugh they can still carry on you know okay and then we get the card of adult children this could be because some of you are behaving a little bit like a teenager that's having a tantrum um this could also be some of you that are you know this drama king or drama queen could actually be quite literally the adult child in your life you know those teenagers those ones that have gone away to college or university um they that could be the people in your life that are, are behaving a little bit bratty right now um what do i want next yeah I'm healing with the fairies Colette Baron, no it's not, it's Doreen Virtue, the other one was Colette, no, they were both Doreen Virtue, I'll get there eventually. You'd think the number of times I use these cards I would know, but I forget, and I also have quite a lot of decks. It's quite a lot of shadow energy here for you, um, Libra, but it's... It's a shadow that you can shine a light upon, okay? We get the card of body movement. Quite literally, get out there and dance, Libra. Get out there and shake your stuff, move around, um, release some of that tension, release some of that negative energy through movement. You know, um, it's very easy, especially if you are in a lockdown situation, it's very easy to just sit and wallow. And that can lead a lot of us to feeling like we're, um, we're not able to see clearly and see the, the path to a better way forwards. Um, so if that's you, then get out and move.
because your problem will be resolved. Okay, we get the card of problem resolved. Yeah, you can do it, Libra. You can resolve your problem. You can resolve the issue. You can feel better and you can get there. Okay, I'm going to take a healing with the angels. Ooh, that one flew out the pack. Okay. Your guardian angels are with you. They are trying to communicate with you. Look for the signs. Look for the signs of what they are trying to tell you. And if you are unsure about what you should do to feel better or to move forwards or to get what you want, then talk to your guardian angel. They're there for you. They're watching over you. And they're feeling your pain as much as you are. They're there to help. So let them help. Yeah. And then we get the healing card of playfulness. So we've got body movement and playfulness. Some of you really do need to connect to your inner child and remember to have some fun. You know, this is all to do with realising what you have. You know, so play, have fun, be joyful and try and, and uh, let those barriers down. Let the love come in. And if something isn't working, if something isn't serving you, then, then cut the ties. You know, you've got so many swords here. Cut the ties. That's what's needed. You need to actually separate and cut those ties. I don't mean separate from a partner, by the way, when I say that. I mean separate from a situation. You know, obviously you have free will and you will do what you want to do. But when you're being guided like this to release something, then, you know, you really need to look at what it is you need to release. I love the fact that you you ended with the King of Pentacles. I mean, you couldn't have had a better card, really, could you? Just, it will all come together in the end. That's what it's saying. It will all come together. You will feel the satisfaction of a job well done, something completed, something done that should have been. Yeah. Here and now. Be here now. Enjoy what you have now, okay? Past is past. We can't change the past. The only thing we can do is be here now and work on our future. So let go of the past. Let go of those past traumas and what is no longer serving you. And then we get the card, a leg up. I love this card. How cute is that? So this tells me that some of you need some help. Okay, some of you need some help with this. And it's okay to ask for help. You know, some of you need a bit of a leg up. That's fine. Accept an offer of help. Be willing to accept help. But also be willing to ask for help. Because people may not know that you're struggling with something. And if you are struggling with something and keeping it all to yourself, which some of you are, then, you know, now's the time to speak up and ask for that assistance. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, mm. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Okay, so if you resonated with this in any way, please do drop a comment in the comment box below. I'd be delighted to hear your thoughts. Um, and uh, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so that you know when I'm um, posting my next video. 
Private readings are available. You can fill out the form on my website or contact me via my Facebook page and we can set up a time um, way to do it that suits you and me. Um, and other than that, have a wonderful holiday season. I do hope that you manage to get together with your family members and your loved ones and, uh, and just have a wonderful time. Namaste.